Welcome back to the channel YouTube, Splitting Wigs here with another video and this time we're talking about the Xbox struggling to run Warzone. I get a bunch of questions asked on my PC help videos um, and instead of just diverting them to an old video, I'm just going to make a new one. Um, it does seem like consoles probably struggle a little bit more with this game now than it than they did because I've been getting so many more questions. Um, now I will say that the beginning of this video is going to be common stuff that people probably already know, but I'm still going to cover it anyway, uh, just because it's and just in case you don't do this or you already don't know this, these are still very important things that you should do because it will help you get more wins and more kills in Warzone hands down. Uh, so we're just going to start with your connection. Um, at the end of the video and in the description, I'll link the video that I went over in detail uh, how to get the best out of your internet. Um, you know, without spending money though, you want to check the box on the outside of your house, check that coaxial cable the whole way into the modem, any splitters that you don't need, any damaged cables, get rid of that, and then, you know, replace ethernet cables they're cheap now on ebay um you know so the one that goes from your modem to your router and from your router to your system put two new ones in they're like eight bucks each and that's the other thing is do not run wi-fi i don't it's just not as stable it's just not um you know every single high-end player is on a connection uh not through wi-fi um so just make sure all your cables and everything that you have in your house is uh as good as possible. Um, the technician that was at my house told me that. He's like, you know, these cables either get outdated or wear out or get damaged from people just doing, you know, running them over with a chair or something like that. Um, so that's the easiest thing is just make sure your internet is up and running as good as possible. That being said, before each gaming session, do a two minute shutdown on your modem router, plug it back in every time. It does help. It just does. Um, and then, you know, firmware on your modem and your router, um, you know, check out the other video for all of my internet uh, optimization tips. I'll put that at the end of the video. Now, when it comes to console, I'm just going to shrink myself here and go over. This is just something that's on the internet. I don't have an Xbox to show you this stuff, but uh, at the end of the day, these are very, very, I, I have other videos, you know, maybe I'll just buy an Xbox and show you how to clean it and stuff. But anyway, um, your cache on an Xbox, super important. You want to I just do it before every time you play. I mean, on my when I played on a PlayStation, I did it every time I played. I would uh, delete things I didn't need, and I would do a, um, a system, not a system restore, rebuild database on my PlayStation. I did that every time, just to help. Why not? Um, then, on your Xbox, uh, turn off your smooth transitions just to just to help with a little bit speed up through menus and stuff like that. It won't really help your in-game war zone that much. Hot dust. This is a super important one, guys. I have a console video. It sounds ridiculous, but go watch it. I'll put that one right here on the screen now. You can go watch that. Absolutely helped my PlayStation like you would not believe keeping it cool. Um, but cleaning it is so much easier than you think. Like, I remember before I cleaned my system, I thought it was like something that was going to be difficult. They come apart so easy, and you use a compressed uh, duster like uh, like this. Hang on. Taking the case apart is way easier than you think, and all you need is a little can of duster like this. You can get it just about anywhere, and then I just used my wife's tiny little shark with a little vacuum attachment, and I would use like a um, little paintbrush or like a toothbrush and just get all the dust out of it and you would be surprised just keeping your system cool how much that helps and then obviously on an Xbox make sure that your uh, things that you do not need are um, closed so that it's not running in the background of Warzone now this last one is especially important on older Xboxes but even the new Xbox anything that doesn't already have an SSD in it the best upgrade hands down you can make is putting an SSD in your system. I know it's expensive, it's not free, and in a time when you're probably wanting to upgrade either to another system or to a PC, you don't want to be spending, you know, 80 bucks. But I'll link an internal SSD and an external SSD below. If you save your system game, if you save your games to an SSD and play off of it, it does help. I mean, there's there's side-by-side -side comparisons. Maybe I'll throw one on the screen right here after edit and just show you a side-by-side -side comparison of an SSD rendering and a hard drive rendering. For sure helps. Now, the last thing is like your last-ditch effort, and that would be to do a full factory reset on your Xbox and then just only download and install 
war zone that's it and i do think that that can definitely help us a, a console as well uh, but anyway, that's the tips I got. If I missed anything, please put, leave me a comment below. If you got anything out of the video, please like it. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. And as always, catch you on the next one.